Hi everyone, welcome to E3081 Circuits Analysis Lab course. I'm Ari and I will be your virtual TA for today. In this lesson, we will learn how to use LTSpice by creating a simple schematic, measuring the data, and saving the output of the data, the, the data table as it were, to be able to use it in other programs such as Excel. Uh, LTSpice is an integral part of this course. It is what we are going to use to simulate more complex circuitry before we actually get the chance to interact with it in real time, live, in the laboratory. And uh, LTSpice is designed to have all the functionality of a real test measurement kit that you might that you might see in the actual lab. So in order to learn LTSpice, it's worthwhile to perform the basic steps that we would do in analyzing any given circuit. For instance, one of the one of the most basic things that we have learned in electrical engineering is measuring the value of a resistor. Now, how do we do that? Uh, of course, we have the resistor here. And the simplest way to do it is to connect it to a power source like this. And we vary the value of the of the voltage of the power source while measuring the voltage difference across this uh, across this resistor and also measuring the current that passes through the resistor and we can use the the formula r equals v over i to obtain the value of the resistor and of course we take several measurements in order to more accurately determine the value of the resistance so we can do that really easily in LTSpice, and let's go ahead and do that. So this is what you're greeted with when you open LTSpice for the first time. You can see at the top uh, several options, several menus that, that open up to reveal more, more information. Uh, you, can also, you can also see the status bar. In the, in the bottom right corner, if you look at the status bar, you can see that you you have hints when you when you hover your mouse over every specific option. So for right now, we need to open up a new schematic. And as you can see, a lot of these buttons have enabled themselves. This is the main schematic workspace where you will add components, uh, connect nodes, and do all the things prior to measuring the, uh, the values. One uh, worthwhile option to, to note is that showing the grid, now it's, the grid is hidden, showing the grid makes it much easier to place and align components. So if you don't have show grid checked, please do that now. So as we mentioned before, as we did in, in our drawing, uh, we are going to add a resistor. This is the resistor button right here. We are going to click on the location where you want the resistor to be, and the resistor has been placed. Now, if you look through all these buttons, you won't really see a, an option for a power source. That is because it is hidden under these component menu. And you can see that you have a lot of, you have a lot of components. You can enter other folders such as comparators and so on. But for right now, we are just going to add a simple voltage source. So we click on that, we select OK, and now we have a voltage source that we can place wherever we want in the circuit. So let's do that here. It's uh, now we can connect the uh, the two components like this, and they are right now in a circuit. But we're not done yet. LT Spice, uh, in order to properly simulate the uh, voltages, needs a ground node. Now that's going to happen in real life as well. Uh, the oscilloscope, for instance, if you measure things with an oscilloscope, you will need to connect a you will need to connect a ground somewhere in your circuit. Now. The ground is connected, but we are not done yet. If we press escape, we are uh, back to our cursor, and we right-click on the uh, on the ground node, and we select GND Global Node Zero. This tells the LTSpice simulation that this is the this is to be treated as the node with zero voltage, as the original node, and it will run the simulation based on having this value as zero. It is really important not to forget to set the global node zero in the uh, in the simulation because otherwise the simulation will not run properly. 
Now that we have the entire circuit, we have a voltage source, we have a resistor, and uh, we have the, the ground node, we are ready to assign some values to them. So let's go ahead and right click on the resistor and we have the uh, resistor value panel. So we can go ahead and say we have 5k on, on this resistor. This is a pretty common and nice value. Now the real smart thing about LT Spice is that we can, we can set tolerances and power ratings for more advanced simulations. Another interesting fact is that because it's hard to manufacture resistors in all values, uh, commonly we, uh, we have in our lab, we have certain select values of, of resistors. These resistors, these standard resistor values will be present in this, in this select standard resistor panel. Now you can see that they're not perfect values because it simulates a real life resistors where some of them might deviate by, 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 by some amount. Let's, let's go ahead and click cancel and we have selected the value for the resistor. Now we will vary this voltage source, but the simulation needs a value instead of just a, uh, just a symbol V. So let's go ahead and set zero or 10 volts or whichever other value you want. Let's, let's set this uh, voltage source to five volts. It will be irrelevant when we actually run the simulation. Now we are ready to run the simulation. So we will go to simulation and first of all we will need to edit the simulation command. This is what we are going to do when we simulate the circuit. Uh, we have several options. We have a transient so basically you just have a, a, a small like impulse and you see how it propagates across the uh, circuit. We have AC analysis, we have DC sweep, we have noise, and we have other options that we are going to explore later on in the course. For right now, we will go to DC sweep. If you remember from, uh, from previous labs, basically what we do is we set the voltage source to a value, we measure that, we set the voltage source to a different value, you know, you, you set it to one volt, you, you measure the current, you set it to two volts, you measure the current, and so on. So this is what we are going to do here. So we need the source that we are going to change. In this case, it is called V1. And you write that down here. You set a linear sweep because, you know, we, we want like pretty like, like evenly spaced measurement values. We are going to measure both positive and negative values. So let's start with minus 10 volts and stop at 10 volts. And we are going to measure every 0 0.5 volts. Of course, in real life, we might uh, we might do fewer measurements, but uh, this is really quick and easy to do. Now we hit OK, and we click anywhere in the simulation panel, and it is going to show us this 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 bit of text, which basically is an LT Spice command that that tells uh, t tells it what the values of the testing. Uh, simulation are. So now that we have everything done, we go ahead and run the simulation. Now, for right now, the uh, we notice two things. First of all, the graph is empty. And secondly, uh, the windows are arranged in a quite inconvenient manner. So we can actually go to window, whoops, we can actually go to window and set tile vertically. If you want to have the, uh, the actual graph display some values, you have to click on the component that you want to measure. So for instance, we want to measure the current across resistors. So let's do that. And there we go. We have a, we have a graph that goes from minus 10 volts to 10 volts and it displays the currents for each associated value. Now if you right click on the graph, you see several options. You see things such as zooming, panning, you have options for showing or hiding the grid. This is without the grid. And you can also mark the data points to show like where the, uh, where the actual data points are located. Now that we have run the simulation, uh, you can of course, if you press escape here, you can, you can click on, you can select this window. You can click on several of the, you can click on several components and it's gonna plot more values. So for instance, you can plot the, uh, 
current through the volt through, through the source, as you can see, it's negative because of sign convention, uh, and and the resistor at the same time. You can you can only you can show only one of them by just double clicking on any any component, and it's only going to show that particular thing in the graph. Now we have our measurements, we have our simulation run, and now of course we want to have the data to to use it, for instance, in Excel, or to write it down in our notebook, or to compare it with actual measurement data in the lab. So let's go ahead and do that. What we do is click on File, uh, is select first of all select the uh, select the graph window because otherwise the option will not show. You click on File and Export, and now you have the uh, you now have the data values that that you can export. So you can you can select which one of the options you can select the current through R1, or you can select multiple multiple things to be exported through uh, to a text file. Now, the default place where you export the uh, the uh, trace uh, it might give an error because uh, by default Windows will not give you permission to write in that folder. So you should select a different folder. Uh, I have created an LTSpice folder, and as you can see, I already ran this experiment before. So let's go ahead and overwrite this data. Uh, you know, just, just give it a, a good, like, meaningful name. So we can save that. We replace it. Click OK, and that's it. And if you if you open the folder right now, you can see that you have experiment one right here in. in in the folder, and you can open it up, and you can see all the data values. And you can you can write these down. You can import them in Excel, and so on. Before we go, because this is this basically concludes our today's today's lesson. Before we go, uh, we must uh, make a a, a quick uh, mention. Uh, when you have a value of zero volts across the voltage source, the LT spy simulation may may conk out and may indicate a an incorrect value for the current through the resistor. If you if you look at the at the graph you can see that there's a dip right there. So you can go ahead and ignore this value because this is a result of of, of how the simulation is, is run and you should you should simply ignore values where you don't apply any voltage to to the voltage source. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't use this measurement in real life anyway because it will just shows zero current through the resistor and it's not a, not a useful calculation. That being said, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, of 3081 and of course uh, I will see you in the lab if I am your real life TA for this semester. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.